I want to share a really personal experience. My very best, maybe most effective trip that I have had on mushrooms. I know mushrooms is a controversial subject. I don't really care. Psychedelics have changed my life and I'm a big advocate for them. It's done properly. I treat it very spiritually and I use it for a lot of my getting to know myself and my emotional healing. Here's one of my experiences I had. One day, I had the day to myself. It was a Saturday. I took some, some mushrooms. What I was planning on doing was going to go eat some sushi. And normally the mushrooms take about an hour to kick in. After I eat sushi, I was gonna go to the art museum and, and the mall and just go appreciate the art, play the piano a little bit. And um, I really like doing those things when I'm on mushrooms. Anyways, well, about 20 or 30 minutes into it, I started having this no this weird sensation. I started feeling really sick in my stomach and I started feeling this overwhelming anxiety. And I was at the sushi store, the sushi restaurant eating my, my food. And I, I was kind of uncomfortable, but it wasn't quite enough to make a big deal. So I continued to eat. And then it came over me again. And this time around, it was significantly stronger. And I started almost feeling this fear inside of me. I, I kind of couldn't handle it. So I left my food there and I had to walk out to my truck in the parking lot. I got in the truck. At this point, I was just feeling panic and fear. And I couldn't quite put a name on what it was for. I just was experiencing this. And so I closed the door. I grabbed my sunglasses because I just, sometimes the light would overwhelm me. And I put my sunglasses on and I I closed my eyes and leaned my seat back and I was feeling this overwhelming feeling of fear. I don't think I've ever been this scared in my life. I had some people on call where I, I can always call them if I need them to talk me down. Because when you're on mushrooms, sometimes you're like a kid. If a kid is scared of the boogeyman in the closet, you just have to kind of tell them, hey, there's no boogeyman. And then the kid feels better. I was kind of like that. In my mind, I was thinking, no, I, I need to understand what this fear is. What is this fear? What is this problem? What, what is this panic about? I started getting to where I was, and I was hyperventilating a little bit and I, was, I started to cry. I started weeping and I was just feeling this so much fear. It was just apparent that there's something that I needed to deal with. And as I was just crying and I was just like holding myself, I got to the point where I almost stepped out of my own body. So I started having this vision of myself and I stepped out of my own self. I almost was holding myself like this. And I was like, you're okay, Brandon, you're okay. And I was just crying. I was like, you're gonna be all right. And, and I was just crying and sobbing and, and um, I was doing the best I could, but it, it wasn't getting any better. In the distance of my vision, I saw myself on this field and there's, there's, a, cloud, there's a fog. And coming from the back far left, started turning around and there is this samurai-like warrior looking figure walking towards me had this red and black armor on with a helmet it almost looked like master shredder on the ninja turtles imagine him and darth vader had a baby together that that was this dude but in all seriousness he <laughs> he was walking and as he's walking the, f the fear is at its highest point and i was crying and i was i got to the point where i had to close my fist and i, I was yelling to myself ah Ah. It was walking towards me. I thought to myself, I'm not gonna, I, I'm not going to call anybody. This is my fear and this is my burden. This is something I need to fix. This is something that's in my fucking heart that won't leave me. I'm going to beat this thing or I'm going to die trying. I'm going to face my fear right now, whatever this is. And this figure is walking towards me. I was holding myself and I asked myself, what are you scared of? And I was like, why are you scared? It was like all of a sudden my two selves appeared and then there's this little boy Brandon, little seven year old Brandon that was just on the ground crying and he was scared. And then there's the, this big strong Brandon saying, what's wrong? You know, what's going on? This little boy said, I'm scared of failing. I'm scared of messing up. And then the, the big version of Brandon said, hey, it's, it's okay to mess up. It's okay to fail. And I was just, the little boy was crying as this figure is walking towards me and um, I don't want to let anyone down. I don't want anyone to be disappointed in me. And th this bigger version of myself said, you're not letting anyone down. You're good enough. You're doing a good job. It's okay to mess up sometimes. It's okay to fail. Everyone fails. The th young version of myself crying, and there's like this puddle of tears and this fog and this figure walking. And then there's me, the older version of myself. The older version of myself was still like, crying and tearing up too but i wasn't i was being strong for my younger self and i looked at this figure and as he walked towards me all the fear and everything just channeled on this guy and i realized that this soldier was the 
actual representation of my fears. Failing, not being good enough, you know, being judged and being doing my best and just not being good enough. I never realized it before, but I realized in this moment that these are my greatest fears. These are things that were my whole life was revolving around. And at that moment, I realized my fear was right in front of me and he was this warrior. I bowed up and I just yelled, ah! and, and I said, I just looked at this thing. I said, you get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of my life. And this soldier just stood there and him and I were just standing off, but there's just these powers coming off of each other. And I was just standing, this older version of myself was standing in front of my, my little kid self and I was battling this dude, but it was this battle of mental fortitude and this, and I was crying and I was yelling. I was like, I will fucking beat this. Let's go. And this thing was just not backing down. But I, but there's a moment whenever he realized that I was standing up to him and we were duking it out. I realized it. It's, it is okay. It's okay to fail. How I am, how I've been born and how I live and who I am uniquely to this world. I have permission to exist as I am. And I don't have to live up to any fucking name. I don't have to be anybody to be good enough because who I am is good enough. It's easy to say that, but in this moment, all this revelation was coming into my mind and it was coming in and it was sinking in my fucking heart and my soul. I just got it for the first time since I was a child. Like I understood that I was enough and I just, this light and I just stood up to this thing and I was like, Whoa, get the fuck out of here. And, and he just like, the samurai like looks at me and he, he almost gives this like nod of respect and he turns around and, and he walks away. And I just stood there and watched him walk away. This little boy version of myself looked up and he was okay and then I was okay. And then almost in an instant, in a moment, all the fear and the anxiety dissipated. I like opened my eyes, I took my sunglasses off, I started wiping all the tears and everything and I was okay. I wasn't crying anymore. I felt no fear. I felt a lot of exhaustion. I felt like I just went through a lot of things, but I was okay. I was good. I had a moment of realization that um, I didn't kill it. I think I'm gonna have to face this guy again several times in my life. When he walked away, I could sense that there's gonna be more battles, but it was almost like when Harry Potter met Voldemort for the first time. You know, they fought in that fourth book. But Harry Potter survived and so did Voldemort and then you knew they were gonna meet again. I'm gonna meet him again, but I understand myself now. I am so grateful for those lessons I learned. I beat that fear and I'm not saying I don't still struggle with some fears and things like that, but I exist in a very different reality now. I feel significant confidence in myself, not because I feel like I'm better than anybody, but it's because I feel legitimate humility and legitimate gratitude. I'm grateful that I exist and that I am who I am. And I'm so grateful that I know I don't have to be somebody for anybody. I'm good enough. I understand that on a very subatomic level within my soul to where it just pours out. And since that experience, my income has tripled, quadrupled. My confidence level has just soared. I see things more. I'm a better dad. I'm grateful. The main thing for me was I just identified my fear and I fucking beat it. That was my biggest experience I've had on psychedelics. I've had many good ones, amazing experiences, but this is one of the ones that just completely changed my life. I'm a big advocate of psychedelics done in the right way. I'm a big fan of doing it spiritually with self-help as the motivation, not as, not as much as a recreation. I don't think that it's my preference for recreational use. I would also probably try to do it under some supervision and guidance. So, cause I'm not a doctor, I'm not claiming to know anything like that, but I, I do, for me personally, it is really, I've, I've used it to help me find myself. Anyways, that's my story and my best experience ever. The end, cheers.